Alright, so in this lesson we're going to go ahead and cover GDP, which is uh, short for Gross Domestic Product. So, Gross Domestic Product, or GDP for short, is one of the most well-known economic indicators and is closely followed as the primary indicator to measure a nation's economic activity. Economists use GDP to forecast where the economy is heading, CEOs use GDP to influence corporate strategy, and money managers such as hedge funds use GDP to inform investment decisions. GDP is a measure of the value of all final goods and services produced during their reporting period. GDP is the sum of the value of all cars, car washes, TVs, computers, computer repair services, books, t-shirts, etc. And G GDP reflects the final value of all output in the US, whether a good or service was sold or placed in inventory. Items that have not been sold are still included in the measurement of GDP because they were still assembled. GDP is essentially a measure of a country's overall economic activity, which can infer a country's economic state. GDP indicates whether an, econ whether an economy is growing or contracting during a time period. It provides an all-in-one snapshot of the economic situation of a nation. A positive and rising GDP relative to prior quarters indicates a nation's economy is growing, while a positive but lower GDP value relative to the previous quarter indicates an, an economy is decelerating. So here's the formula for how GDP is calculated. So here we have GDP equals C plus I plus G plus NX. So essentially breaking that down, uh, the C stands for consumption, the I stands for investment, uh, and then the G stands for government expenditures, and then the NX is net exports, so that is exports minus imports. So you'll see that uh, uh, consumption, this includes things such as durable goods. Uh, these are items expected to last more than three years. Uh, as well as non-durable goods. These are things such as food and clothing, uh, and services are also included in, in consumption. So things such as you know, car washes, uh, tutoring service, uh, even dog walks, etc. Uh, government expenditures includes things such as uh, defense expenses, uh, money spent on roads, and then also uh, schools, so public schools. Uh, and then investment spending, uh, that includes uh, things such as new factories, uh, you know, which are a, an investment for, uh, uh, you know, if that's a company, um, uh, new homes people buy, um, and also it can include uh, the construction of a new mine, you know, a new uh, gold or a, a new silver mine. And then lastly, uh, net exports. Uh, so you'll notice that exports are added to GDP while imports are subtracted from GDP. And this is because while exports may not be sold in the US, they're still produced in the US and therefore are included in GDP. Uh, while on the other hand, imports are not produced uh, in the US uh, while they are sold in the US, um, but because ultimately they are uh, produced outside of the US, they are not included in the overall GDP number. In reference to how the Forex markets are affected, um, so in reference to the US, strong economic activity indicated by a strong GDP will attract foreign dollars for investment in the stock market, treasury bonds, and other securities, thereby increasing the demand for dollars. In addition, as an effort to curb inflation, if the markets are getting too heated, the Fed may jump in by raising rates, which would lead to a further appreciation of the dollar. However, if inflation accelerates too quickly and remains at elevated levels, it would lower the US's competitiveness in the world, thereby creating a scenario where US dollars would be less valuable and therefore the value of the US dollar will detract. The same is true for other countries outside the US, where let's say if Australia is reporting strong GDP numbers, uh, which is a sign of strong economic activity, foreign investment will be attracted to buy Australian stocks, bonds, and other assets, 
thereby increasing the value of the Australian dollar. So there are many global macro hedge funds that analyze the strength of different economies around the world and they typically build portfolios with long exposure to currencies of countries that are performing well and they'll have short exposure to currencies of countries that are lagging behind. So, and, and GDP is, you know, a key indicator uh, in determining this, uh, you know, which countries are uh, performing well, uh, thereby, you know, which countries' currencies will uh, more likely appreciate. And on the other hand, you can uh, infer from GDP which countries are struggling, uh, you know, economically, and then therefore uh, you can see, you know, which corresponding currencies will most likely detract over time. And then one thing I wanted to show you guys um, is if you go to this website here. So here is uh, the Bureau of Economic Analysis website, uh, BEA.gov. And this is their uh, news releases kind of summary page. Uh, and then what you can see is um, just kind of a, a very high level snapshot of GDP. So they'll provide the next re release date. Um, kind of the, the most recent numbers of second quarter 2016, first quarter 2016, and they have the actual uh, GDP, uh, the, the change in GDP. Um, and then also they'll kind of have this uh, historical chart here uh, where you can see the, uh, the percentage change quarter to quarter uh, going all the way back to it looks like Q3 2012. So you can see, um, you know, here was kind of a a slip in GDP where it, you know uh, things contracted, uh, but that was followed followed by pretty strong, uh, you know, quarterly percent change GDP. Uh, you know, this looks about uh, four or five percent here, um, and then it's been positive since. So that's uh, one thing, and then the second thing. Uh, so here's going to be kind of a, a more formal. Uh, uh, you know, release here. Uh, pretty much the same thing we just looked at. Again, we have our kind of historical uh, quarter to quarter uh, percent change GDP. Um, we have kind of the, uh, you know, kind of a quick summary up here. Um, you know, what was the change in GDP uh, during the second quarter? Um, and then down here, uh, you know, there's a bit of, you know, highlight information. Uh, you know, spending on durable goods increased, uh, notably on recreational goods and vehicles. Um, so that kind of gives you color on, you know, what exactly led to an increase or decrease in GDP. Um, and then uh, down here, uh, you kind of uh, receive some more information than corporate profits. Uh, and then here's also a nice little chart of uh, uh, quarter to quarter uh, uh, percent change in corporate profits. All right, so that is GDP, and uh, feel free to you know check out the uh, the BEA.gov website. Um, you know, there's tons of good you know uh, information on here, and you know feel free to kind of give this little release you know kind of a, a thorough read. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, GDP, and uh, looking forward to the next one.